Today we're diving into the HDR10 versus HDR400 comparison to help you understand the key differences between the two. Let's break it down and get a clearer picture of how each one performs. So, when it comes to HDR standards, HDR10 is definitely the higher end option. It supports high quality content with a 10 bit color depth, which means smoother color gradients. It also has a wide color gamut that gives you richer, more vibrant colors. On the other hand, HDR400 is more focused on brightness and doesn't offer the same color depth or high end color reproduction, so it's a bit limited in that department. In terms of brightness, HDR10 shines with the required 1000 nits for full effect, making content look richer and more immersive. It's great for detailed content and provides that wow factor. HDR400 though, only hits a peak brightness of 400 nits. While it's still bright, it doesn't compare to HDR10's level of brightness, so it's more of a basic HDR experience. When we talk about color and contrast, HDR10 again takes the lead. It enhances both, making images pop with brighter and more vivid colors. HDR400, on the other hand, has limited improvements when it comes to contrast and color, so it doesn't deliver the same level of richness or vibrancy as HDR10. As for content compatibility, HDR10 is widely supported by most devices, including streaming services and gaming consoles. It's perfect for high-end, immersive media. HDR400 is mostly found in entry-level monitors. While it still works, it's more limited in terms of content and device support. So, to sum it up, if you're looking for a high-end viewing experience with rich colors and contrast and want full HDR support for media and gaming, HDR10 is the way to go. But if you need a more basic HDR experience with decent brightness and don't mind missing out on richer colors and contrast, then HDR400 is a solid choice.